This is just a quick tutorial on how to um, cut your angles on the braces of a legend brace door or window shutter. And uh, they're very common, so you've got your ledgers and then you have your braces. And uh, not those sort of braces, just, you know, braces on your ledger brace doors and windows. Now how I do it, I have a little bit of a, a, little bit of a technique I use. I have a weight to hold this material, which is going to be my brace. It's a 60mm brace in this case, on the window shutter. And I'll line up my brace in the right angle it has to be. So the brace has to go pointing down towards the hung side. The idea being is the load will transfer to the bottom to the, to the side where it's taking the weight, which is the hinge side, which is the hung side. So what I use is, I use this little thing I made. It's like a little bridge. And all it does, it sits over your brace. So once you've got this in position, that sits over your brace and push it up against the ledge at this point here. So it goes up against that ledge. And I can then use that. I also use the thickness of that as my distance on the end of the ledge. So the brace don't touch right to the end because it looks untidy. And uh, I'll do it one to the other like so. I'll do the same on the other end, like so. And I'll, if I need to move it a little bit, I do. And so basically what's happening is this is touching the shutter, also touching the ledge. And that effectively will represent at 90 degrees from the edge of this, um, up the edge of this, uh, <laughs> sorry, ledge. And that is actually exactly where my line has to be to cut my cut line. So I'll grab a pencil, and literally just grab a pencil, run it along there like so, do the same on the other side, or the other end, sorry, run the pencil along again, and then I'll get two cut lines. Once I've got those two cut lines, I can cut it. So that's what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use my uh, rated arm saw, but you can use a hand saw, you can even use band saw, a jigsaw, any saw. Um, as long as you can do a straight cut with it, that'll be fine. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. Let's have a look, see how well we're done here. And it looks pretty damn perfect. Yep, that is pretty damn perfect. If you've done them a bit long, what you'll find is one corner will end up being a bit gappy. I have a little bit on this one, so I'm going to just recut that again, make it a little bit shorter. And now it, oh, it's bang on now. That's, per, that, that's good. I'm happy with that. So, um, all I have to do now is uh, fix it into place. Well, I hope you found that of use, but what I'll quickly just do is flip this camera down a bit just so you can see what I've done. So there's that one here. Da, 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 da. Come on, Mr. Camera. There you go. I'm on one of these funny gimbal mount things. So there's that one there. There you go. And then we come to the other end, which is that one there. So it's plenty good enough. And uh, that's how I do mine. That's how I cut the angles on my um, braces for my legend brace doors and window shutters. So, anyway, if you found that interesting or of help, or if you'd like to learn a little bit more about other stuff um, re re related to woodwork, and uh, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. So if you've got a comment below, I'll do my best to um, either make another video to show you how to do it. So... Yeah, so thank you for watching, and if you'd be most kind, and subscribe, sorry, thumbs up, <laughs> and subscribe, and write your comments and whatever else you want to do on there, um, do you really appreciate it. So, thank you for watching. Until next time.